Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is another edition of Reading Through the Bible. On this edition of Reading Through the Bible, we're going to be looking at Colossians chapter 1. Paul's letter to the Colossians. From Paul, who by God, God's will and the apostle of Christ Jesus, and from our brother Timothy, to God's people in Colossae, those who are the faithful brothers in Christ, may God our Father give you grace and peace. Prayer of Thanksgiving. We always give thanks to God the Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, when we pray for you. For we have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and the love for all God's people. When the true message, the good news, first came to you, you heard of the hope it offers. So your faith and love are based on what hope you hope for, which is kept safe for you in heaven. The gospel is bringing blessings and spreading through the whole world. Just as it has among you, you never since the day you first heard of the grace of God and came to know it as really as it really is. You learn this from Ephesus, our dear fellow servant, who is the faithful worker for Christ on our behalf. He told us of the love that the Spirit has given you. For this reason, we always pray for you ever since we heard about you. We ask God to fill you with the knowledge of his will and the wisdom and understanding that his Spirit gives. Then you will be able to live as the Lord wants and always do what pleases him. Your lives will be fruitful in all kinds of good works, and you will grow in your knowledge of God. May you be made strong with all the strength which comes from the glorious might, that you may be able to endure everything with patience and give thanks with joy to the Father who made you, you fit to have your share of what God has reserved for his people in the kingdom of light. For he rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us safe into the kingdom of his dear son, by whom we are set free and of all of our sins are forgiven. The person and work of Christ. Christ is the visible likeness of the invisible God. He is the firstborn son superior to all created things. For by him, God created everything in heaven and on earth. The seen and the unseen things, including spiritual powers, lords, rulers, and authorities. God created the whole universe through him and for us, or for him. He existed before all things, and in the union with him, all things have their proper place. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the source of the body's life. He is the firstborn son who has the source of the body's life. He is the first, no, sorry about that. He is the firstborn son who was raised from the dead in order to be alone that he alone might have the first place in all things. For it was by God's own decision that the Son had has himself the full nature of God. Through the Son, then, God decided to bring the whole universe back to himself. God made peace through his son death, Son's death on the cross, and so brought back to himself all the things both on earth and in heaven. At one time you were far away from God and made yourselves his enemies by the evil things you did and thought. But now, by means of physical death of his son, God has made you friends in order to bring you holy and pure and innocent in his presence. You must, of course, continue faithfully on a firm and set foundation and not allow yourselves to be shaken from the hope you gained when you heard the gospel. It is of the gospel that I, Paul, become a servant, the gospel which has been preached to everybody in the world. Paul's Ministry to the Church and now I am happy about the suffering for you. For by means of my physical sufferings, I help complete what still remains of Christ's suffering on behalf of his body, which is the church. And I have been made a servant of the church by God, who gave me the task to perform for good. It is the task of fully proclaiming his message, which is the secret he hid through all the ages from mankind but he is now revealed to his people. For this is God's plan, 
to make known his secret to his people, this rich and glorious secret, which he has for all people. And the secret is this, Christ is in you, which means that you will share the glory of God. So we preach Christ to all men. We warn and teach everyone all possible wisdom in order to bring each into God's presence and as a mature individual in union with Christ. To get this done, I toil and struggle using the mighty strength that Christ supplies, which is at work in me. So this chapter is the beginning of the letter to the Colossians from Paul. And this is an encouragement to them to continue living for Christ because they heard the good news of who Christ is and what he did for them. And Paul is encouraging them to live a life that goes against the world and to, to be servants of God. So this letter is here as an encouragement to us as well, that we should be doing the same. We should be putting aside the things of the world and we should be following God and knowing that Christ is the center of all things. Christ is our savior as he should always be. Thank you for listening to this edition of Reading Through the Bible. Have a wonderful week.